All right. Finally, I figured it out. I think, as I said before, this is my little guy. I don't know if he has a name, but I put him up under the camera eye so that I can sort of remember where to look. Hi. And this is my photo of the Rockland breakwater. Which is not far from here in Rockland. And I didn't have the good camera there. That's what I always work from when I do a breakwater picture. And I'm copying the style of this painting that I started several weeks ago and finally finished the other day. From there, that got converted into, I'm going to cheat now, this tracing and earlier I tried to record painting live and that's the painting I did over the tracing. I'm not as crazy that oops, I better not say anything about that. Very, very difficult because you, first of all, watercolor, you wouldn't paint by holding it upside down. So I had too many things to hold. So, and then I couldn't figure out how to make, whether this was recording or not. So now what I'm going to do, I've got regular paper on top of the tray, uh, on top of that line copy of my painting. And I have a lamp behind it so I can see what's going to happen. Here are my little crayons. <laughs> Just a few colors. There's a black, a green, these are Crayola crayons, some kind of red, purpley red, another kind of red, and I, there's a blue and a purple in here. We'll see what we get here. In here where I can see them and find them. And is it cheating? I don't know. I'm working from my own picture. And I don't want black. I want this really could stand to be I don't know, start. Not gonna show up, is it? <sighs> oh well. I wonder how fast I can do this. Fast and sloppy. And you see, I, I'm used to doing this without making an outline. But I really needed it for being able to paint while holding everything. I, mean, I want to make that darker. Let me see what I put that up. I don't know what effect that might. So now I'm going to put some purple over it.
What? No, it is. Is any of it showing? Yeah. I know you can't be a see like that more. I need the light out of my face. Yeah, that's good. Oops. Okay. There's the break water. So now here we go in the tower, and the dark part of the tower is over here. This is somewhat like this very past day. Shadows are not. Here comes part of the cap of the light. Right. Close to light. Um, the peak of the cap. Chimney. Need some orange on that chimney. And yellow for something. Look, this is still purple. These are the dormers or whatever you call those kind of windows. Here are the windows, the face. Just that.
Hello. I'm stop. And no more I can fix it so that I straight away some of it. That white space should look like a kite. front of this building is also reddish. At one point, this whole building was, all this brickwork was painted white. So back on this foundation. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some orange in there. You can't see it from here. And I can't see it. But I know it's somewhat changing the color. And make it all orange across here. Right under there, it's a little bit shattered. I think it comes it comes out somewhere. And then let's continue this. This is the breakwater itself. Huge blocks of granite. I don't even dare walk out there. It's a mile long from the here to the land. And the granite rocks have big cracks in them. I think somebody got stuck in there once. In, in a crack. Worms there. You always have to guess whether you got black or purple in your hand.
We gotta have some of that. So probably, yeah. Here is a bit of pre stuff. I'll start with the green base and try to make it darker. down the other ones they don't change it much okay now need some blue for sky and let me use that to better define that window that drama and it's an overcast day so it doesn't really get lighter at the bottom. It's just sort of an overall even color, if you can even call it a color. If I could enough in crayon, you think I'd be able to paint it directly? The other one that I did was painted directly, but it didn't take just a few minutes. And that's a white edge trim. So I have to be careful to go around it so that it can appear. Oh, and I didn't do it over on that side. Shoot. Let's see if I can. Do it with a fingernail at right all. Not very well. Talking myself. Go 
go right to that edge. Mm. So here's another place that needed black against the purple. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, oops, I won't find it in that color. I'm going to sign down here. My head is going nuts from having my head tilted like that all the time. Now we got a problem because if I put the date there, it gives the impression that that's what it looked like on that date. So I'm just going to squeeze in. Two, uh, one, seven, here, and hope that does it. Okay. Now, oops, because it's so much. I think I should make. The tower. A little darker. Can I make it darker? This like the cat. Can I do it with green? That's not gonna do it. I want to use black. I don't think to. It's just not going to get darker with crayons. Hmm. 
know what else is bothering me. That roof needs to go down. So, that's green. Let's hope that works. And I'm just going to put orange on that, but I don't know. A yellow would be better. Okay, that's all for now, and Katinka Studio, KatinkaCards.com. See you.